Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cards Diecast 4 channel, I want to thank you all for watching. And in this video, it is now time to showcase video number 2 of the 2017 Panini Select Endorsement Autograph Series. This is going to be covering the Blue Prism Parallel, and we are going to get a little bit better picture as to what the significance are of each specific driver. And also at the same time, this will be the last video where we will have that certain driver. I won't name him just yet, we'll save him for the Red Prism. Uh, endorsement video but uh, this will be the last video where we're going to have that one missing driver so with that said though ladies and gentlemen let's just hop right into it and let's showcase the blue prism parallel for the endorsement line all right second verse same as the first just like the base video we're going to be starting off with adam stevens and just look at the color pop of these autographs here i mean absolutely fantastic you know, the cracked ice from the prism line, you know, a lot of that looks good as well. The red prisms and everything else. I'm not saying they don't have their spot there, but outside of the checkered flag design, just having these solid prismatic finishes here, very metallic looking, just excellent, excellent autograph right here. It's fantastic. I have nothing else to say other than just uh, giving Panini praise. You know, they take a lot of crap and s certainly they deserve it at some times, but when they do a good job, I want them to be known for it. So here we go now again, blue endorsements, and this is going to be for Adam Stevens. He is the crew chief for Kyle Bush, and for the average print run of a blue prism endorsements it should be 50 and in this instance we're going to have 8 of 50 for, for those so for those who are trying to collect this this will be a standard print run in Adam Stevens to 50 and then here we have Alan Gustafson and Alan Gustafson is the crew chief for Chase Elliott and a little bit sloppy of an autograph pretty quick pretty lazy there uh, but this will be a 10 of 50 so this will be just a standard print run as well for Alan Gustafson and here is another standard print run out of 50 this one's going to be for Billy Scott who at the time was Danica Patrick's crew chief uh, so there you go right there for Billy Scott alright so here we go now with Richard Petty's crew chief I believe or engine builder one of those two uh, this is Dale Inman and even for you know a pretty much unless you're really into NASCAR you're not going to know who this individual is uh, a lot of people even in NASCAR probably at this point don't even know who he is but he was affiliated with that Richard Petty championship team for all those years and this one here is a standard print 7 of 50 in this instance for Dale Inman we have Dick Berggren, who of course was a longtime broadcaster for NASCAR, had that Speedway Illustrated magazine that I believe that I'm sure at this point has gone belly up. He has since retired from announcing and things like this. But this here is a standard print. This again is 7 of 50, so getting a lot of those uh, single digit out of 50 hits there. But this is for Paul Wolf now as we move along featuring Brad Keselowski, but of course it's not the Brad Keselowski autograph. He is featured in the signature paint schemes if you're someone who likes an autograph only. But of course with that said, remember that he only signs the, uh, the stickers. He does not sign on card. Uh, he actually stated that he feels that that's actually safer. But in this instance right here, this is actually the first in print. One of 50, again another standard uh, print run autograph. Here we go now with Kevin Harvick's crew chief. This is going to be for Rodney Childers. And really another lazy autograph right there. Yeah. But this one here is 20 of 50, so we have yet again another standard print run. All right, and here we go now with Slugger Labby. And now that I remember, I think the last time I really remember anything from him was that he was Austin Dillon's crew chief. I don't think he is that in that position anymore. But uh, I believe that was the last time I heard of him. Before that, he was part of Michael Waltrip's uh, uh, Napa team when he was part of DEI. And so when we flip the card around, this is a standard print run of 23 of 50. Here's uh, Mike uh, Buggeravich. Again, it's not Buggerwitz, like you may, you would may think. It's Buggeravich. I don't know how they get that, but still. Uh, this is Clint Boyer's crew chief, or at least was. It was last crew chief for Tony Stewart. However, I do believe this is going to be our first higher end print run. Yes, it will be. This is going to be 68 of 99, so this is going to be one of the probably easier autographs to obtain if you want to build your own complete blue endorsement set. 
Here we have Bill Elliott. Here's our first uh, star driver. Of course, he's unfortunately retired at this point. Uh, but again, just look at that finish. Absolutely fantastic coloring. Um, for Bill Elliott, we flipped a card around. This is going to be a standard print run. This is going to be 16 of 50 for this particular card, but a standard print run autograph right there for Bill Elliott. Now, here is going to be one of our first short printed drivers. Um, this is very short printed uh, when we take a look at it. This is for Bobby Labonte. Again, I'm not sure exactly why, but uh, in this instance, it's going to be part of his classic card number. This blue endorsements autograph, should you actually find it and you want to build your own set, this is one of the first drivers you want to concentrate on when you have the ability to buy and secure one of these. And the reason why that is, when we flip the card around, a uh, standard deal, but when we zoom in a little bit more, you'll notice right there in this instance, this is three of only 18. So this is very short printed compared to the other drivers. So again, Bobby Labonte, there's going to be four drivers when we go through these names here that are going to be shorter printed uh, when it comes at least to the gold. But uh, in the blue, this is one of the drivers right here you certainly need to be focusing on when you go to make your attack plan to secure a blue endorsements line for yourself. Here is Mark Martin. Again, Mark Martin, who was a always a bridesmaid. Bridesmaid Daytona 500, bridesmaid when it came to championships. Finished second in the title run in 98, 1990, and again, I think in 2002. And also, I believe, in 2007 or 2009 or something like that, uh, when Jimmy Johnson won one of his titles, he was number two. Uh, but this instance right here, this is going to be a short printed, but it's only short printed by one. This is going to be... Uh, 32 of 49 in this instance so he technically is short printed but it's only by one so it shouldn't be uh, too uh, too difficult to, sec to secure that autograph now here is Terry Labonte he is a short printed driver but when we get to the goals you'll see why but when it comes to the blues however um, he will not be short printed. In fact, he's one of the elevated signature drivers. Uh, when we turn the card around, you'll see that this is actually out of 75. This one is 71 of 75, so it's not too difficult to secure his uh, blue signature autograph, although it will be very difficult, as we will see when we go to the later video. Terry Labonte, Texas Terry, that's his autograph. Now here's another short printed driver, technically, although it is a little bit diff more difficult because it is going to be numbered only to 43, like his Petty Blue card number is. But still again, excellent autograph right here. Oh, when we flip the card around, you will see again, as I stated, this one here is 8 of 43. So it is short printed by 7. That's a pretty good chunk, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to be overly difficult. Uh, and when I say these overly difficult and everything else, of course, it's, it's based off of timing. There just may not be any of them available, but when it comes to at least the availability, um, you're, it's not like you're trying to chase down a card that's only numbered out of three or something like that. So uh, just trying to give you guys uh, some intel right there if you ever want to build your own set here. Here's Dale Jarrett, 99 champion, multi-time Daytona 500 winner. Ford's only real hope a lot of times during the 90s when it came to those restrictor plate races and then here it is ladies and gentlemen a standard print this is going to be out of 50 24 of 50 for this particular card right here here's Cale Yarborough of course when we saw his blue or rather his base version he had that sign in the front and the back I have never seen that error in any of the numbered cards so I would not be wasting too much energy trying to find maybe a blue signature or something like that that has both the autograph on the front and on the back. I only noticed it with about those 7 to 10 base card or base endorsement autographs. I think he probably caught himself pretty early. 11 of 50, classic card number for Kyle, or rather Kale Yarborough. Because I think what happens when they get the cards, the first stack of cards that they were signing would be the base versions. And I think the very last one would be the checker flag. So usually when the driver is at their tiredest, that's usually when they sign the checker flag one of ones or something like that. And so the, the autographs tend to be a little bit more sloppy with the one of ones because they've been autographing all the time. Anyway, this is Darrell Waltrip's autograph, and this here again kind of emphasizes what I was making when I made the point of Darrell Waltrip and how he would sign different ways 
with uh, with the various autographs that he would sign. We saw Daryl Lee Waltrip with his base, and in this instance now we see him with the 11 there. So there's been a couple of individuals that I know who've been trying to find autographs with all the variations. But uh, in this instance, though, I got the 11 autograph, so Daryl Waltrip with the 11 there. And this is going to be another standard print, I believe. I believe this is going to be out of 50. Looks like 8 of 50 for Daryl Waltrip in this instance. And now here we go with uh, Harry Gant, and I believe even with the base version video, I made a statement that this is going to be the highest number autograph out of the endorsement line for the Blues at least, and certainly it is. And then we flip the card around, you'll notice that the autograph is out of 199. This is 171 of 199 for Harry Gant, so Harry Gant should, in theory, be the easiest one to secure. Here we have now uh, Herschel McGriff. Herschel McGriff's autograph, as I said, this is in the base video, he was the first checker flag one of one that I got to see. And not too much else to say. And let's take a look here. This is gonna be out of 99. So this is gonna be what I call elevated. It's not gonna be sky high, but it is elevated. This is gonna be an easier one. Again, Herschel McGriff, his autograph is out of 99. Here we go now with Ned Jarrett. A uh, so father of Dale Jarrett, and again, not too much else to say, but still an excellent finish. God, I love the the, the look of these cards here. Excellent finish. Uh, standard print run out of fifty. There you go, Fort Ned Jarrett. And here we go now with Miss Popular herself. It is Danica Patrick. I've pulled multiple of these in the past. I think I've pulled probably about five of them on my own. And so here's a raw copy. I've graded a couple of them, even with PSA, and one with SGC as well. And so what, what else can you say? To say what you want, if you will, but she uh, probably could have still be used right now in NASCAR, quite honest, because even though Haley Deegan's on the rise, uh, she's still not uh, matured yet enough to be able to race in the Cup Series. Uh, so having Danica probably at least stick around for another couple years wouldn't have certainly uh, hurt anything, I think, when it comes to the popularity of NASCAR. 24.50 for Danica, although she was starting to get stale, I will say that, though. Here is Kevin Harvick. An excellent autograph right there. Man, these are good autographs. Um, nothing too different. Uh, this is going to be a standard print out of 50. Danica was the standard printout of 50 as well. I don't know if I forgot to mention that. Uh, this card right here is 21 of 50 for Kevin Harvick. Here we go now with Matt Kenseth, who made his return to NASCAR once again. And nothing much else to say. This is, a, this is actually a card that might actually be a, a bit difficult to secure just because a lot of people actually still like collecting Matt Kenseth autographs. This one here is 13 of 50, standard print run. And then we have Rusty Wallace. Rusty Wallace in that classic Miller Genuine Draft uniform. Uh, really don't know what else I could add to this. This is going to be another standard print run, 24 of 50. And now here we have another short printed autograph. This is going to be pretty significant. In fact, it was so significant, it is actually going to be the first PSA graded copy that I'm going to be showcasing to you all. It's going to be for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Very happy to get the Perfect Gem in 10 grade. And this is going to be a shorter printed autograph. Has the verification sticker right there. You're going to have to deal with that. But when we flip the card around, you'll see just like the base version on the back. But when you look at the number, this is going to be only numbered to 20. So again, when it comes to the blues, you're going to be looking for that Bobby Labonte number one or actually number two, we'll get to the reason why here in a second, but number two, Bobby Labonte, number three, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, so once you see those guys available, you're gonna be wanting to go after them. And then number four is gonna be the very following driver, and surprisingly, it's going to be for Casey Mears. Uh, Casey Mears with those 10 million base autographs that you would think, well, then his blue must be out of 199. No, his actual blue prism uh, endorsement autograph when we zoom in here is actually going to be out of 25. So there's a ton of them in base finish, 
but when it comes to the blue and the red that we that we're going to evaluate here in the uh, in the next video uh, you're going to have to be looking for this driver as well so it's going to be bobby labani number two dale jr three this guy number four and then we're going to have uh, daniel suarez the second to last driver to showcase here this is going to be a standard print run i believe uh, when we flip the card around yes it will be this is going to be out of 50 and then this driver right here and boy let me tell you something as of this video i own three of them so it's going to be a little difficult to secure to begin with william byron this is the one raw copy that I have. I have two PSA 9s, one's in the mail headed to me. The other one's included with the complete set for William Byron's endorsements autograph. But this right here is going to be the number one card you need to be looking for. So if you have access to a Blue Prism endorsement for William Byron, then you can start trying to build on that as the foundation and then try to complete your complete set for yourself in blue uh, prism endorsement finish flip the card around and the reason why it's going to be very difficult to secure one of these if i can get it in the light there you'll see four of seven only seven of these babies are out there much like the signatures line only seven of them very difficult to secure but look at that finish guys excellent finish and I think the reason why they did this is because this was before Haley Deegan. So, and even with Haley Deegan, I noticed that her, a lot of her autographs are standard print. They're not really short printing the death out of her. But with William Byron, on the other hand, I think there was a lot of emphasis on him as being the next big star. And so they short printed him to death when it came to the endorsement line. Again, only seven of these babies are out there. So if you're able to secure one of these, then from there is the foundation. You can start building your way up to complete your own blue endorsements finish set. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're finished with video number two. Hope you learned something. And now let's go on to video number three.